Welcome to this orientation video, which is designed to introduce you to the Department of Modern and Classical Languages and our Ambassador Models Autonomous Language Learning component. We hope it will serve as a practical and rewarding tool for tailoring your course experience around personal and professional aspirations. What is autonomy and why is it so important to your success in language learning? In motivation studies, autonomy basically centers on setting optimal challenge and exercising choice over learning experiences, ingredients that tend to promote more active and sustained student engagement, according to DC and Ryan, 2010. Autonomous language learning is basically learning where you are at a given time. Whatever is on your radar is something you want and or need to learn tends to be the place where learning is deeper and more durable, according to Vygotsky, 1986. In language learning contexts, autonomy offers other practical advantages, for example, cost savings on text programs that may not suit your particular needs. This is particularly true of language study and upper level coursework. In preparing to be a language expert in the global workforce, autonomy also means having the freedom to individual, individualize your learning of another language based on your own career path. The Autonomous Language Learning Journal. Some background. This is established for all MCL language courses at the 301 level. In advanced certificates and Spanish programs, it's implemented at the 200 level. When it comes to grammar learning, the Autonomous Language Learning Journal means integrating less grammar and working with it more meaningfully. It also offers the context for more flexible and personalized engagement with language and culture learning in ways that are more meaningful to you. At its core, this unique and innovative course concept targets engaged and self-determined habits of mind at the heart of the ambassador model and its vision of how MCL students will exit their course of study. The Autonomous Language Learning Journal and the ambassador model. The Autonomous Language Learning Journal offers a space for exploring the four dimensions of being an ambassador, scholarship, diplomacy, global citizenship, and engaged professionalism. In the diplomatic domain, learning key phrases for everyday and professional communication, including, for example, formal versus informal forms of address and politeness markers. Uh, you'll also have space to deepen and individualize your scholarship in standards, structural grammar, and usage, while also fostering literacy, literacy skills through self-selected reading for personal and professional enrichment. For example, a future dietitian might study nutritional recommendations in a country that speaks the target language. Autonomous language learning also means extending exploration and the use of the target language beyond the classroom, an important aspect of our ambassador mission that targets the idea of global citizenship. Engaged professionalism means learning about the cultural and language specific aspects of the profession for which you're preparing. Revisiting the example of our dietitian, he or she may eventually apply research on nutrition standards to help a regional health organization improve its ability to connect with speakers of the target language. As you can see from our previous example and the overlapping circles in the ambassador emblem, there's quite a bit of overlap between these domains. Let's consider another example commonly encountered in the tech world. Incidentally, website and software localization is a fast-growing field. There's a growing need for tech companies seeking to expand their markets across languages and cultures. Here is a specific example that shows how diplomacy, scholarship, global citizenship, and engaged professionalism work together. Let's say you're translating instructions for a software package, a common task encountered in the tech localization sector. This is certainly an example of engaged professionalism because it's rooted in workplace problem solving, but it also requires scholarship in grammar and usage, as well as diplomacy, and demonstrates competency as a global citizen in terms of being sensitive to the consumer's perspective. For example, while students are generally taught to use commands in the target language, this is often perceived as offensive and condescending. This is why you tend to find the infinitive form of the verb used more frequently in instructional manuals written in other languages, Spanish in particular. For example, for clicking on something or updating a version, you would say, hacer clic 
o actualizar la versión instead of the commands app o actualiza. Autonomous language learning journal as a student learning outcome. Stated as a learning outcome through the autonomous language learning journal, students will develop and implement a systematic plan for locating and using text, web, campus, and community-based resources for improving proficiency in the direction of the level targeted by the course. Following is an overview of ways the autonomous language learning component is integrated. In most courses, the Autonomous Language Learning Journal is an adaptation of the Blackboard Journal Tool. It is not a public discussion forum, but rather a private tutorial space between you and the instructor. Text selection, especially at upper levels, may involve some freedom of choice. Student selected text may be either the sole or anchor text or function as a supplement to a required text or text. Generally, it is taken on as a set of weekly work sample submissions and brief reflections submitted through the Blackboard area or part of a larger portfolio project submitted at the end of the semester. If the latter, there will be frequent opportunities to receive timely and substantive feedback from the instructor. Autonomous language learning usually starts with a focus on a diagnostic writing sample and self-assessment of target language proficiency, including the targeting of grammar points worth exploring. With guidance from the instructor, you will look for related grammar tutorials and exercises located on the internet and or in a self-selected textbook. You'll also engage with the target language and its cultures beyond language practice, making use of web, campus, and community-based resources to enrich your personal and professional interests, as well as your exploration of course content, such as reading, web exploration or attendance at cultural events. Uh, you will document these experiences in your autonomous language learning journal, in addition to more grammar focused work. Quantity. Generally, several grammar exercises may be equivalent to a single write-up of engagement with the target language and its cultures. Be sure to check with your instructor. You should not only submit completed work samples, but also reflect on errors, points of learning, request clarifications from the instructor, next steps. Demonstrate that you are systematically taking charge of your learning experiences. What you see here is an extraction of the top and bottom performance indicators contained in the autonomous language learning scoring rubric. Uh, let's do a little role play. Let's say you're the manager of a company looking for a language expert. It could be a local business, school, social services bureau, community organization, etc. In looking at the quantity and quality of performance from job candidates, which profile would get the job offer? This is what the MCL Ambassador model is all about, helping you develop the dedication and productivity necessary for success in the 21st century global workforce. Rather than thinking of autonomous learning as busy work or going through the motions, Reflect on the potential benefits of this opportunity to tailor your program experience for personal and professional enrichment. Keep your eye on the prize, and that is exiting your program with practical knowledge, skills, and attitudes that will lead to a successful and rewarding career as a language professional. Varieties of tasks. So basically, the Autonomous Language Learning Journal is where you and the instructor will personalize your learning experience using a dedicated personal folder. Tasks should reflect a balance of focus on grammar forms and the development of social cultural competencies, and all should reflect areas that fit your sustained engagement in improving your proficiency in the target language. Following are some typical work samples. If there are tasks that you would like to add that are not listed, please inform the instructor. We're committed to addressing your personal and professional aspirations as a future language professional of related work sample submissions that focus on grammar competencies. Scanned or word processed exercises completed in a self-selected textbook. Screenshots of completed and graded online language practice exercises. The print screen button on your computer or Jing by TechSmith are examples of free screen capture technologies you can use for this purpose. Close analysis of habitual grammar or spelling errors and the grammar rules that apply. 
And listen, don't get discouraged if you have to practice or review the same grammar point quite a few times. You may even experience some unexpected setbacks as your mind tries to get around some new aspect of the target language grammar. At the end of the day, second language acquisition rarely follows a straight line. Social linguistic and cultural exploration. Here are some samples of related tasks. Find and summarize readings in the target language related to your career aspirations and personal interests. Maintain glossaries of terms in the target language that relate to your career path. Skype communities or WhatsApp conversation partner sessions with native speakers. Watch and summarize Spanish broadcasts or movies. Document attendance at campus or community-based functions that feature the target language and its cultures, like clubs and special events. Commitment and integrity. Commitment. As mentioned, it, it's not enough to just upload completed tasks. Each submitted work sample or set of work samples should be accompanied by a brief reflection on errors, points of learning, questions for the instructor, next steps, etc. Integrity. Needless to say, as with any other academic work, any attempt to pass off someone else's work as your own constitutes plagiarism, a serious violation of academic policy, and will be treated as such in accordance with the college's guidelines. So, how it works. To enter the Autonomous Language Learning Journal area, first click on the link located on the Blackboard menu. On the left, you'll see a blue hot link to the journal area. Click on that. How to start a journal entry and a note about feedback. In the upper left corner, you'll see a, a link that says create journal entry. Click here to submit a work sample. By the way, once you get started, that area to the right is where your running grade will appear uh, using the rubric discussed earlier. There are also maybe instructor feedback uh, located here as well. Otherwise, instructor, instructor comments are generated below your submitted work sample entries. Ways to document work. Once you click on Create Journal Entry, you will enter the Journal Entry Information Area. In the title box, write a descriptive title for your journal entry. The picture icon is where you click to upload a photo of a completed text exercise or screenshot of scores on an online exercise. Use the text box area to type a brief report on results, next steps, or questions for the instructor. You can also use this area to write a summary of a special event or information obtained from a website. Be sure to share the link. Below the text box, there is a Browse My Computer link. You can use this for uploading a, a Word document. Finally, in the lower right corner, don't forget to click the Post Entry button. Next steps. Questions? Don't hesitate to ask the instructor in person or through the course forum. You may also need to know where to find resources on the internet, on campus, or in the community uh, to expand exploration of the target language. In addition to your instructor, you might check in with a faculty member in your major or minor area who may have some leads on some resources that connect study of another language with a discipline area. Also, MCL has a growing list of community partners. Feel free to call the office to find out more, 878-5414.